A beautiful day to you gorgeous people of the internet. Joining you once again is yours truly. My name is Shai and I'm thrilled to introduce to you our guest artist for today who happens to be the, the winner of a prestigious... Brits Rising Star Award of 2021. I think I'm making you blush. I'm sorry. Not sorry. I don't know. Please welcome Griff. Hey. Hi. Thanks for having me. How are you doing? We're great. I'm, I'm great. I hope you are too. You look yeah. like you're at home. Keeping I am. Yourself, you know, I'm away from the pandemic. I'm just in my music room. I'm just in my music room at the moment. This is where I've been for the past year. So, yeah. For most of us, we've always been, we've really been indoors. We miss going out. I'm sure you miss being on tour or, you know, just singing your music out in public. Or Definitely. have you done that recently or no? Well, I haven't really, it's not that I miss it because I never really did much of it. You know, okay. I did one show in London, um, which with 200 people and then the pandemic happened. And mm. then my next show after that was the Brits. So um, I'm excited to kind of go on the road and actually figure out what, how to tour, you know? So, oh, okay. Well, we're excited for that. We hope that you're going to have the Philippines as one of your stops, you know? <laughs> Alright, so um, again, first off, congratulations on the release of your new song. It's called One Foot in Front of the Other, am I right? Yes. Yeah, is, congrats yeah. to you. It it sounds like a very motivational and it, it sounds like it came of came from a very vulnerable place and well, well I want to talk more about that later because right now I want to know more about Griff I found out something about you thank you so much Wikipedia <laughs> I found oh, out God. that um, you learned to produce music on your own at mm. a really young age and I just wondered how did how did it get to the point you know like what were you what were you going through that made you go you know what I'm just gonna do it myself <laughs> um well, I don't think I knew that I was teaching myself how to produce. I, my dad bought my brother Logic, which is like programming software. And I realized that I could just like record my voice and like do covers and do harmonies and stuff. Uh -huh. And so that was kind of how it started. And then before you knew it, I was putting in drums and then I was putting in chords. And then I think I just really enjoyed it. And so I would always do that when I was in school and then as I started writing my own songs, I'd record them and, you know, they weren't very good, but um, that's on. kind of how, <laughs> how I taught myself how to produce, so yeah. That's awesome. Did you really come from a uh, musical background? I mean, a family with musical background or were you like the one very special, talented family member? <laughs> um, the family was quite musical, actually. Like my dad, um, he was like sung a lot in church and was like quite a really he's a really good singer um and then my brothers also learned instruments as well so there was definitely always music going on in the house oh that's so cool i'm sure you know holidays are such a fun time for you guys singing together and all that i mean no i don't think that ever happens but oh yeah. okay <laughs> okay okay good that's interesting because it's pretty much the opposite in the philippines like if there's at least one person who knows how to sing like yeah. it's going to be a concert for that person in Love the household it. during the holidays. <laughs> you guys are such good singers though. That's what I've learned. You guys can all sing. They, are, they like. can. They can. <laughs> and I happen to just play I'm the sure music on can. radio. <laughs> I'm sure you can. <laughs> the others have that talent. I just happen to be the one to play the songs on radio. I, I think that's my talent somehow. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you mentioned that your dad and your brother is really into music. But what got you into deciding to put out your music? you know, to the world? Oh, um, well, I was writing lots of songs and then I got offered a record deal while I was in school. So then I was like, okay, maybe this is going to become my full-time job. Um, awesome. And so two weeks after my last exam in school, I put out my first single called Mirror Talk and kind of that's how it all happened. So, yeah. That's so great. So you're saying that you're one of the lucky few who really got that support from your family. I could imagine rather. Um, yeah. I guess so, yeah. No, 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 they're super supportive, but I don't know. I wonder whether it's easy to be supportive because I, um, you know, signing so young, I think it, it it wasn't like I was leaving school to just do nothing. Uh -huh. It's like they knew that there was a contract. They'd heard of Warner Brothers. They'd saw that there was money. So it was like, it's easier to be supportive, you know, when, when you've signed like a nice record deal or something. So, uh, I, I, I agree with that. I mean, I know not, not everyone could have that opportunity just yet. But yeah, if you have a support system and you're, again, you have Warner and they're awesome. <laughs> Congrats, exactly. of course, to that. So yeah, of exactly. course, to everyone else who are watching, don't lose hope. Find the support you'll need. And exactly. you might just, you know, get the Brit Award 2022 next exactly. time. <laughs> exactly. All right. All right. So, um. Uh, Griff, of course, is your stage name, and um, 
to me, it sounds very oomph, you know. It's got that mm Aww, going on. Thanks. But what made you choose to use Griff and not your real name? Um, honestly, I just didn't really like my real name. I just thought it wasn't very glamorous. So I was like, Sarah Griffiths is nice, but it doesn't really sound very like pop starry. Okay, okay. Did you so tell your parents like, that? <laughs> no, I mean, they didn't even realize until the music was out. But um, yeah, I mean, my mom always calls my dad Griff. So it's like always a nickname that's been in the, in the house. So yeah. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Yeah. You're sort of passing down the nickname to you exactly. professionally this time. That's awesome. All right. Exactly. Okay. Um, now I've asked this with a lot of artists before, but I want to know your thoughts on it. Like how different is it releasing a song in a completely different atmosphere? You know, right now we're in the middle of a pandemic in comparison to when you released uh, Mir uh, Mirror Talk, for example, back in 2019. Mm. Yeah, it was hard, to be honest. I felt like I was... um putting out all of my best songs and I didn't have anything left and I didn't know if they were you know when you're really proud of something and then you're putting it out in a time when no one's you can't see how it's reacting it's quite nerve-wracking um, but I'm glad we didn't stop you know so it definitely made things tricky but I think I just had to adapt and keep going so yeah and look at it now you're you're here being interviewed virtually you know exactly. in the Philippines. so exactly. your song is awesome and um where can we listen to the song, by the way? Everywhere and anywhere. I don't know. Whatever you use. You <laughs> All the digital it. platforms you, know, you guys know. <laughs> you can buy it and download it if you like. Even, if you want a vinyl, if you want a CD or a tape. Even better. It. All the forms, yeah. Awesome, awesome. Now, okay, now is the time to tell me about the song. It it sounded like something I wish my, my younger self would have heard Aww. you know what i mean like Aww, i could you. when when i when i heard the song for the first time i told myself whoa that that's something i wish i i wish i had back yeah, then yeah, yeah. so oh, yeah tell me more you. about the song <laughs> yeah i guess the song is about like i think as you grow older like every time you experience a setback or a heartbreak it's so much harder to heal from that and you almost feel like you're a child learning to walk again or you feel like you're walking a tightrope and so I think it's that like revelation of like all you can kind of do is put one foot in front of the other and it's scary and it's daunting and you're probably going to fall and learning how to do it you're a bit out of practice and you're rusty but you just got to keep doing it so yeah. Did that song come, when you were writing the song did that song come from a dark place of yours or were you going through something that time? Um. I would, there wasn't like any major event, I think. Mm -hmm. I think in a weird way as a songwriter, you can always tap into a sense of sadness and hopelessness. Um, so yeah, I think it definitely was from the heart and from a real emotion, but there wasn't one event, you know. All right, all right. But we're glad that you have that song out. And again, if, if I related to it somehow for my younger self, I'm sure, you know, the kids nowadays, even Hopefully. even, even the older people yes i used yeah, to be older everyone. people everyone everyone can somehow need a little boost of motivation from your song yeah. thank you so very much all right so now before i let you go i gotta ask you do you, uh when do you think you could come over to the philippines to let your fans personally hear your beautiful songs i don't know i want to come so <laughs> soon honestly i'm itching to come but i just don't know what's allowed what's not yet I but know. honestly as soon as it's possible i really really want to come over for sure there you go guys so we know that griff wants to come over we just have to be very very patient exactly. all right <laughs> well thank you so much griff this has been fun thank i know you. it's a quick one but we're really glad to get to know you more and of course to know of more about course. your music thank you for sharing that with us lovely to see you thank you all right so that's it for now guys once again my name is shy you guys have a good day bye